Hi, everyone. I'm Susan Brady. Thank you for joining me. I have a lot of patients that are curious about collagen and whether it's beneficial to our bone health and whether we should be supplementing with it. And if so, what kind of collagen? And I do personally believe that collagen is important to our bones as well as our skin and our joints and our hair as we age. And just a couple of weeks ago, there was a study published in a Spanish nutrition journal touting the benefits of collagen for bone health. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to review the latest research on collagen, how it might help our bones and how to find a quality collagen supplement brand. So to give you a little bit of background on collagen, collagen is the most abundant protein in the body, and it is the major component of bone, skin, muscles, tendons, and cartilage. All those tissues that kind of start to wear as we age. And it's so important that I've heard many nutritional experts refer to it as the fourth macronutrient. So the three macronutrients that you may be familiar with are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So many people believe getting enough collagen in your diet is just as important as getting these other foundational nutrients. Now in your bones, collagen actually provides the structural matrix upon which mineral mineralization of the bone occurs. And I like to think of it as the framework. So when you're building your house, you put up a frame and then everything is attached to it and built upon. And so collagen is that framework. And because collagen is a fibrous protein, it allows for flexibility in the bones, whereas the mineralization of the calcium and phosphate and other minerals provide the strength of the bone. And yes, we want our bones to be strong, but we also want them to be flexible. So if we do fall, the bone has a little bit of give to it, so it won't just automatically break. So the study published last month in the Spanish Nutritional Journal showed that a combination of hydrolyzed bovine collagen along with calcium supplementation increased what we call pre-osteoblastic production. So what this means is that when the researchers combined collagen and calcium, they saw an increase in the cells that make osteoblasts. And the osteoblasts are the bone cells that stimulate new bone formation. Now, there was also a similar study in 2020 in which they looked at calcium and vitamin D along with collagen supplementation. And they looked at this in regards to bone turnover. And in this study, they took 51 postmenopausal women with osteopenia they broke them up into two groups. One group received just calcium and vitamin D and the other group received the calcium, vitamin D and collagen. And what they found was that the group of women that took the combination of calcium D and collagen showed a significant improvement in bone biomarkers in just three months indicating improved bone metabolism and a decrease in bone loss. The group that did not supplement with the collagen and only took the calcium and vitamin D didn't show any changes at all. And then in a 2021 study published in the Journal of Bone Metabolism, here the researchers followed 31 postmenopausal women with low bone mineral density, and they followed them over the course of four years, and they found that long-term supplementation with a specific bioactive collagen peptide called Fortibone reduced, um, resulted in significant increases in bone mineral density. So some good indications that adding collagen to your diet, especially with adequate amounts of calcium and vitamin D can help bone metabolism, may even help to halt bone loss and increase bone mineral density. So now the question is, how do you add collagen to your diet? So my first choice would always be for food first. And animals and fish are the best food sources of collagen. So this includes beef and pork and poultry and eggs and fish, especially 
the skin, bones, tendons, and ligaments of these animals because this is where the collagen is. But when's the last time you gnawed on a chicken bone or ate the skin of the chicken? That's been a huge no-no for a long time, yet it is so full of collagen. But this is why I also really like bone broth because it's made from the bones and tendons and ligaments and therefore also is a great source of collagen. Our body also makes its own collagen if it's given adequate amounts of animal proteins plus vitamin A and C and minerals such as zinc and copper and manganese and sulfur. Unfortunately, as we age, our body does produce less and less collagen. And that's one of the reasons why our skin becomes thinner and we get wrinkles and perhaps also why we start losing bone. So you can take collagen supplements. And as you probably know, there are a lot of different brands and types of collagen supplements out there. So a couple things to look for in a collagen supplement. In regards to your bones, you need to make sure that you're getting a supplement with predominantly type one collagen. So type one collagen comprises just about 90% of collagen in the bone. Type one and type three collagen make up most of the collagen in your hair and skin and nails, whereas type two collagen is mainly found in your cartilage. Type one and type three collagen predominantly is found in bovine and marine sources and type two collagen predominantly in chicken. And if you're looking for a collagen supplement to support your bones, look for one that is getting its collagen peptides from a bovine source. So even though the marine collagen does have type one collagen in it, it seems to be better for supporting hair and nails and skin than it is for supporting bones. So look for a uh, bovine source. And because you're getting the collagen peptides from an animal source, I highly recommend that you find a supplement that sources from grass-fed, pasture-raised animals. I'm also not a big fan of blends of collagen. So supplements that have several different types of collagen in them, because I get concerned that with all the different types of collagen, they're gonna compete with one another for absorption. And when you're looking for collagen supplements, you might also see on the label something that says hydrolyzed. And this means that the collagen has been broken down into small peptides or small protein chains. And that makes it more easily digested and more readily usable by the body. And I also wanna point out that There is no difference between collagen peptides and hydrolyzed collagen. They're the same thing. So sometimes you're going to see on a label, it's going to say hydrolyzed collagen, and other times it's going to say collagen peptides, and they're the same exact thing. And then one last thing. Um, In two of the studies I cited above, they used a collagen product called Fortibone, which is stated to have a specific bioactive collagen peptide in it. And there are a few products out there that do use Fortibone in it. And one that I frequently recommend is whole body collagen um, from Designs for Health. But honestly, I haven't found any studies to say that it's superior to other collagen products, um, but it is one that I frequently use. So I hope this review has helped your curiosity and the benefits of collagen for your bones. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any other questions and have a great day and a wonderful rest of your week.